morning everybody welcome back to the channel it is a beautiful saturday i'm up early just finished working out just finished doing a video for self love tv it's been a minute since i uploaded a, a video to that channel uh, so welcome back this morning thank you all for tuning in y'all know what i'm doing now having coffee just being creative it's about eight o'clock now i got up this morning about i think 6 30 got up about 6 30 and did my stretching and trying to be more active slimming down guys slimming down from all of the the activity i've been doing at my job i'm so thankful for that because i had started gaining so much weight um just from not moving realizing how important it is to be healthy now and um trying to do better with that I've been eating clean, guys, feeling good, not bloated, stomach getting on flat. So, yeah, I'm feeling really good, guys. So, yeah, thank you all for your support. Tonight, I got to go to another event. The NAACP uh, is having a uh, Juneteenth gala, and it's African attire or black tie. So, I have this beautiful African dress that I purchased some years ago, probably about three to four years ago so I'm gonna be wearing that tonight so y'all gonna get a cute video from that one as well or either some little clips that I'll insert into a video so I'll be going to that my company is sponsoring that and I have been blessed to um, be a part of being able to, to attend some of those things so yeah thank you all for for enjoying those I see a lot of people have, have thumbs up those videos so I appreciate that so much but today I have another video for you. Oh, I want to say make sure you all go over to Step Love TV and please support that channel. Uh, it's a very small channel. I only have about 100, a little over 100 subscribers there, but I, I like it being intimate and small, but I do want YouTube to throw it into the algorithms of trending. <laughs> so if some of you, my faithful subscribers, I know y'all always show up for me. If you go over and view the, the video, Make sure that you thumbs it up, drop a comment or something, a heart or something to let me know that you were there and help that channel to get some viewership. You know, it does pretty decent. Um, it gets more than half of the subscribers that I have. So I do appreciate that. So that means that at least I have a look at the analytics on it, but at least um, with having about 102 subscribers, around 75 people are viewing the, the video. So that is encouraging to me, but that could be non-viewers or non-subscribers. So support the channel. But today I do have another video topic here on the channel. And I want to say, you know, if you don't know my story, stop judging me. If you don't know my story, stop judging. We shouldn't judge anyway, but oftentimes people will judge you and don't know anything about you and that's so that's that's very you know sad in a way because sometimes you could be missing out on some great relationships with people but you judge them don't so don't be so quick to judge because you don't know people's story and i think that's what i'm gonna uh label this this uh video the topic of this video is gonna be you know don't be so quick to judge um we allow people to have us judge people, you know, that we don't even know. You know, have you ever been around co-workers or maybe some of your friends who don't like certain people because of maybe a conflict or an issue that they may have had? And sometimes everything is not the way it seems. You know, sometimes we always, you know, we want to be supportive of our friends or whatever, but sometimes it's not always that way. Sometimes there's two sides. Well, I will say this. It's always two sides to every story. Now, sometimes and it could be that the situation was leaning more toward the person that you know. But I'm speaking more of just from perception. Just looking at a person and judging them based on what you see. Or what you kind of hear around you or gossip around you. I always say get to know someone first before you make a judgment on them. Because, you know, you never know. You know, people often judge people based on the way they dress. Um, you know, the type of job they have. You can get judged because if you're, you're heavy or if you're thin. You know, it, 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 it always bothers me that society will always go more toward us being discriminative or 
judging heavy people, but the same thing happens to thin people. When people are um, making fun of someone who's very thin, you know, or have some type of a flaw, maybe it's a, a birthmark or something that happened to them while they were born. And so we're looking at them and we're just judging them based off of that, based off of that. And that could be an amazing person, you know, and that happens here even on YouTube. You know, people judge you and don't even know you. Um, we are all showing up on this channel trying to sell ourselves in a way. We want people to support us. And so sometimes you may be a little bit more uh, over-exaggerating or uh, you go out of your way to do a little bit more to get the attention of people. And based on that, people will judge you. She thinks she's this or that. And it may not even be what it is. She's just trying to entertain you in some way or she's trying to get her platform to grow. But that person could be just as amazing and you don't even know it. And based on just a perception of a video, you want to judge that person. And I'll be honest with you, I've done it myself in my lifetime. You know, I've looked at certain people, dressed certain ways, and in my mind I decide what they are. Just like how we have gotten upset when people judge everyone who decides to lock their hair. We got to be some some drugs, weed smoking potheads. <laughs> and I don't smoke pot, period. And, and that's the thing that, that gets me is because we look at people and we judge them. And we don't know anything about them. We don't know their story. We don't know the things that they've gone through in their life that may have caused them to, to look hard or look like they they will bite your head off or you know punch you in the face but that could be one of the sweetest persons you've ever known I say get to know people I love the fact that I am able to be uh, open to meeting people from all race cultures you know backgrounds I don't judge people like that you know I want to know who you are I want to know you before I, you know, um, get an opinion or, you know, I'm not going to listen to one of my friends or someone that I work with tell me about this person that I have never interacted with and I have no idea of who they are. You know, they could be amazing. You know, when I went into the new company uh, position that I have, a lot of people tried to tell me, oh, you're not going to like that. Those people down there are snooty, this and that and the other, and, you know, just try to make me think, you know, about them in a way that would make me feel uncomfortable going in. But I kept my mind open to let me get to know them and see how they are. And I have to be honest with you and say so far, it has nothing been nothing but love. We, we crack up at crazy. We work together as a team. Um, I love my boss. She's amazing. And um, I have nothing but love for them right now. You know, we, we have hard days. We have days when we're frustrated with something that's happened in that day, but it's never been anything that made me feel like I'm gonna dislike this person. And definitely not based on what I was told prior to me coming into that department. So be that way in your life, you know, stop judging people. If there's a, a video or channel that you wanna watch, go ahead and watch it. Do not decide not to watch it because somebody you know say don't watch them. Watch it for yourself and then see what you think about it. Stop allowing people to, to have you have an opinion that they have and you don't even know them. Don't be so quick to judge people. You don't know their story. And sometimes people have lived some very rough lives and caused them to have this exterior that may seem a little tough, a little rough. But once you get in, you get to know them, you get through that shell. It could be somebody that has the biggest heart that you've ever wanted to know. And that's happened to me in my life where I've met people who seem so hard on the outside. But once I got to know them, they had such a big heart. They were so giving and so loving. So let's stop judging people. You know, we need to stop doing that and just get to know people for ourselves. And I thought I'd share that with my ladies because I think it happened with women more so than it do with men. Women, y'all know, we're so quick to judge a woman based on how she look, how she's dressed, how she talks, and we don't know her story. We don't know what she's been through or, or how she's living. So let's stop doing that. So that's the 
video today. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to enjoy the stay. It's a three-day weekend. As I stated, I'm going to bring you some footage, hopefully from um, the gala tonight. And hope you will enjoy it. Tomorrow is Father's Day. And oftentimes we forget our fathers. So let me say Happy Father's Day to my 2% of men who may watch this video from time to time. The, the channel. <laughs> But happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there on tomorrow. You are, you need to be celebrated just like the mothers, especially those fathers who show up, who have been nothing but great fathers and dads in their life. I miss my dad tremendously. I love my dad. I miss my dad. I wish he was here so that I could give him a big hug. But happy Father's Day to all of the fathers. And I will see you all later. I'm going to get up and enjoy this weekend. It's a long weekend. Monday's Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Remember always, peace and love. Love with all my heart. Kisses. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.